Please welcome Taya Ford. She's from Production Animal Health. Her supervisor is Dr. Karen Orsel. Taya's 3MT talk title is CSI Arctic, What's Killing the Musk Oxen? I suspect that most of you have seen at least a couple of episodes of CSI Crime Scene Investigation. As you know, the plot follows a pretty standard outline. A body is found, and then evidence collected from the scene of the crime, combined with sophisticated lab techniques, enables the investigative team to solve the mystery. But what happens when you arrive on a remote island in the Canadian Arctic and find several hundred musk oxen carcasses lying on the tundra? Well, in true CSI style, I'm working with a large team of investigators to piece together different types of evidence to help understand why musk oxen die-offs have been occurring on Banks and Victoria Islands in northern Canada. Musk oxen are a keystone species in the Canadian Arctic, and they're also an essential food and economic resource for northern communities. Therefore, ensuring that musk oxen populations remain healthy is important not only from a wildlife conservation perspective, but also for maintaining food security for the people who depend on them. Now, in the first part of our team's investigation, microbiology testing enabled us to determine the actual cause of death, which turned out to be a bacterium called erysipelothrix. Finding that this particular bacterium was the culprit was interesting for a couple of reasons. First, it's a zoonosis, which means that it's capable of infecting not only animals, but people as well. In humans, it generally causes skin lesions, but it is also capable of causing more serious systemic infections, and this could pose a risk to hunters when butchering musk oxen carcasses. Second, this is the first time that this bacterium has been associated with musk oxen mortality. So our big question now is, where is this bacteria coming from that's causing such devastating losses? To help understand and answer this question, I'll be performing cutting edge next generation sequencing technology to sequence the whole genome of the bacteria that we've isolated from these musk oxen, or in other words, determine their entire genetic code. Now, just as our DNA carries the history of our ancestors and can be used to determine who our parents are, a bacteria's DNA has a story to tell us about where it comes from. By comparing the bacterial isolates from these musk oxen to isolates from the same type of bacteria but from other host species and geographic locations, I'll be able to get a sense for how long this bacterium has been circulating in the Arctic. Additional samples collected from the same area may also give us clues as to whether musk oxen are becoming infected from other animals in their habitat or from sources in their environment. And so, over the next couple of years, our very own Team CSI Arctic Edition will be working very hard to understand what the source of this bacterium is, why it's now causing so many animals to die, and if and how future outbreaks might be prevented. I'm very hopeful that our combined efforts will insist in ensuring that musk oxen remain healthy and a healthy food source for northern communities. Thank you.